Hey everybody and welcome to Deckheads. I'm Tim, aka Pirate Tom. And I'm Frank, also known as my bro Frank. And today we're going to be playing uh, Netrunner Android. That's Android Netrunner, for those of you following at home. Um, we've already decided what, uh, secretly decided, um, what roles we're each going to be playing. Well, we decided the roles, we don't know which specific uh, corporation and runner uh, we're going to be playing, so that'll be a surprise to us. Um, we're assuming that you already know the basic rules of the game, or at least or at least what the game's about, uh, and we're using the unmodified uh, basic decks. So, to begin, I will be playing as our corporation today, and I will be playing Jinteki. And I will be playing as the runner. Um, uh, corporation versus corporation wouldn't really work. Um, there'd be no runs, and it wouldn't be Anyway, I'm playing as Kate Mac McCaffrey, the the green the green cards. Um, that's me. So uh, now we'll shuffle our shuffle shuffle our decks together and build our basic decks. You know, it's interesting. This is going to be a uh, reverse play of our first game against each other. That's true. Yeah, yeah. you were you were you were Kat, and I was uh, I mean Mac, and I was uh, Jinteki. Yeah. And so, I won, so we'll see. We'll see if you can get revenge. Well, we'll see if you don't make the same terrible mistake I did. I don't remember what mistake you made. Good. I'm not going to go into it then. <laughs> well, one of the things I like about the Jinteki deck is that it's very aggressive for being yeah. a corporation. Hey, the snare. I know what to watch out for now. <laughs> Because if I remember correctly, that's what won me the game. It is indeed. So what Snare does, for anybody who forgets, it's a card that, when accessed from the R&D pile by a runner, uh, causes them to take four net damage if the Jinteki player is able to pay for it. Yes. And it costs four credits, and that's the exact number of credits I had at the time. And we have both shoved our face cards into our decks. So let's go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, um, as the corporation, Frank gets to choose whether he wants to mulligan first. Uh, mulligan, of course, is if you have a very poor hand, you get to a uh, you get a second shot at it. The problem is sometimes the second hand you get is even worse than the first, and you're stuck with it. Happened to me last game, and actually, I, I uh, my first hand had a couple agendas and no no ice, so I thought, dang, I better mulligan this, and then I got a handful of ice and nothing but ice, and yeah, I was guess a, it, honestly, I'd have to say you played that game pretty cool. Yeah, ice cool. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, let's see how this goes. Oh, I'm a mega corp. Two, three, four, and five for the starting hand. I'm gonna mulligan. Fair enough. I, you know what? I'm gonna keep my hand. Runners, runners have uh, good hands. Ooh. Yeah, I think there's more. There's more variety in the in the uh, in the runner cards, so it's more likely that you get a you know a hand that's suitable. Yeah, you kind of. Well, I mean, it's both decks kind of have like three major play type cards, and you want to make sure that you have a fairly good balance in your opening hand. That's true. In fact, you know, at a second look, you know, I'll keep it. Keep it. It's 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 not the worst hand. It's not the best. Um, actually, you know what? I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be just fine. All right, yeah, round you'll, two. You'll love this card that I got here. Oh, I'm sure I will. Uh, it's uh, a good card, man. Uh, not a whole lot better. We're gonna take it though. It is what it is. All right. So corporations begin. My first turn. That's nasty. That's nasty. It's nasty. It's just nasty. It's uh. We're gonna go ahead and first. Oh, before before um. Before we get too far, I want to give a shout out to our cameraman here, uh, Brandon, aka Nordan, uh, head honcho over at Shark Tank Media. So, uh, yeah, thanks, boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. So, for my first move, I'm going to go ahead and place an ice. Second move, I'm going to uh, establish a remote server. And for my third move,
What? Okay, now that's fine. Uh, third move, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card, and we will pass the baton. All right, so um, she has the handy dandy uh, ability of the first program and or piece of hardware you install. Each turn costs one less. So my first click will be installing Magnum Opus, which gives me the unique ability of being able to gain two credits for one click whenever I want. Cost four instead of five because of her ability. Man, why didn't I get that when I was playing? That's what I'm saying, right? Right? My next... The uh, icon on that looks a lot like a Deathly Hollows, doesn't it? A little bit, yeah. 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 Um, well... Um, let's see here. You know what? Um, second click will be drawing a card. Third click will be installing hardware for one credit. Fourth click will be... Gaining two credits from Magnum Opus. Man, it's it's like That's having a, that. It's like having that bank only all the time. Forever. Yeah, yeah. It's a fantastic opener. That is nasty. All right. So first move, we're going to go ahead and. Hmm. How to best play these? Place that. Second move. Place and pay for it. That's our live audience back there booing. Akitori, Aki, Akitaro Watanabe uh, lowers the res cost of all ice in this area by two. Don't ask how he does it. Ah, uh, yes. For number three, I'm gonna go ahead and activate that. Bobby, no. Down. Oh, Bobby. Okay, and uh, was that three clicks or one, two? No, I guess not. I'll go ahead and do my third click. Oh, for once the uh, Milan Mining Co. will. <laughs> well, maybe, just maybe. So I'm gonna do a run in your hand there. On oh, my hand. HQ. So. I'm an idiot. Yes, sir, you are. I forgot my hand was vulnerable. Yeah. These things happen, Frank. Okay, so my uh, uh, that was embarrassing. For that was that was absolutely um, terrible. Um, but I'm really excited for my next turn. <laughs> I bet you are. You're gonna gain seven credits. Um, let's do a run on your uh, your uh, your HQ or your R&D. Okay. Okay. I can't believe I forgot about this. It happens to the best of us. It's um, like, yeah, remote server. Let's do it. <laughs> We're going for it. Hey, man, I ain't touching that mining cow, so... Nope. And that's actually a good thing to get early on, man. Yeah, no, it's exactly. That's you like, are going to have all the money ever. Am I? All am I going to have all the money in the Magnum office? The money. Hey, that's that's better than 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 two credits per click. So if you could only spend four clicks. Mm, for no. four clicks, you get You're eight. Jealous. For <laughs> I only can do this once. It's true. It's way better. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> okay, you got me. You got me. I got ya. All right, so I'm gonna install this for one less. So let me. No. First, I'm going to gain two credits. Yeah. And I'm going to install this for one less. It only costs three because we're... Her, uh, Remember, there's no credit. Handy. No credit in this game. Yeah. All right, that's my fourth. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and get three credits. Seven credits. Seven credits. And no, that actually, no. stays right there. Oh, is it? you want to trash it. Oh, I thought it would... I got that got trashed after I used it. No, that's why I was saying it's really handy to have that protected early on. Then I have completely misplayed this. Um, I'm not going to spend then yet. We're going to go ahead and spend my first action on a draw. 
You made a run during your last turn, didn't you? I did two, actually. I spent two on my next action. Yeah, do one damage. Net damage. Discard a card at random. Do I, is it random or do you choose what card to discard? And I think random is, is better, because otherwise I would see your hand. That's true. And that's not really fair. Ooh, that's good. Yes, sir. All right, then that was my second action for my third. I'm gonna get him money, because getting a card will just cause me to lose it. You're up. All right, so for my first action, I will get two credits, courtesy of Magnum Opus. Um, second action, installing at reduced cost, pipeline. Third and fourth actions, well, first, third action is going to be drawing a card. Fourth action is going to be drawing a card. All right, good. And we'll go ahead and pass the book. See, you're tempting me with that. I'm not gonna fall for it. Or am I? Okay, so, so this neato thing that I'm gonna do is the first two actions are gonna be gaining two credits via Megan Opus, followed with a sure gamble to get me four more credits. Look at that! Suddenly, I went from broke to rags to riches, or however so, it goes. One action left to you. One action left. So, the question is, what do I run? Do I run that unprotected remote server? Do I run your little mining co? <laughs> do you well run the unprotected? Protected? Do you run the unprotected hand? The unprotected R and D? The unprotected archives? Archives. Stuff and form yeah, me. archives, man. I, I think the archives are your best bet. You know there. what? Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna run. Um... You know what? Let's do this. Let's uh, let's, let's run on this guy. What do you got, bitch? What do you got? Oh, hey, look at that. <sighs> and that's my turn. It was a gamble. I was hoping you would take my hand. Yeah, I bet you did. Draw. I see. So you thought, you thought that was gonna, you thought you were gonna trash that, uh, that mining corp, and then replace it with a. Uh, yeah. I gotcha. It was an incredible misplay. Well, we're all about misplays tonight, it seems. You're up. All right. Let's see here. The first action will be drawing a card. Second action will be trying a card. Alright, so I'm going to install my console. Cost of eight instead of nine. Gives me plus two memory, plus two link strength, and two recurring credits. Used for icebreakers. Ouch. So, my next turn will be drawing a card. And I'm going to play this event. Um, zero cost, and I want to expose that. Okay. Barrier icebreaker yet. Yes. You're up. My hand is protected. I'm now. gonna go ahead and get myself. I'm gonna go mining. Get seven money dollars. You're up. It's a whole turn. It's deep mines. Yeah. This ain't no Minecraft shit. Okay. So what I'm gonna do. Uh, 
two credits. And then I'm going to play this tinkering, which gives that ice. Wait, does it have to be a rest ice? Or Choose a piece of ice that ice gains until the end of turn. Yeah, so it is now everything, which means either of these icebreakers here can fight it. Okay. Or it can. can. So I'm going to make a run in your hand. I will definitely pay three for that. I will pay one to increase his strength. Okay. And then one more to break the code gate, which he's now a code gate. Okay. So. Give it. Come on. Okay. I'm gonna do it again, pay one more credit. He still has the strength increase because it lasts till the end of the turn. Okay. No, wait, it's for the remainder of the run. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it again then. So, there you go. Oh! That's right, I have recurring credits. So, yeah, I am gonna do it again. So, I'll pay one to increase the strength and one to. Hey. No, they're different actions. No, no, no. They are. What? They are, because it's if you have to pull multiple from my hand during one action. Oh, is it? Yeah. I, I misunderstood. Oh, you still got it. Know. And that's my turn. Alright. We're gonna draw. We're gonna draw. And this is gone now, so I can no longer get your hand. And we will pay the hedge fund. Nice. Cost five, so I'll just buy myself another four there. And so ends the turn. Very well. Um, first action, draw a card. Next action is as well, draw another card. Precognition. Look at the top five cards in R&D and arrange them in any order. My first action is my first click will be getting two more credits. My second click will be installing it. A discount of one because of my special ability due to my runner. Installing a battery ram with cost four. It's for barriers. And I will now run on your hand. Alright. Okay. So he has strength three already. Okay. I'll use my two recurring credits to get this same card that I knew was already in your hand. <laughs> Okay, so I'll take it. I'm going to get two more credits, and then we'll call it good. All right. Now, <laughs> the real mystery is, what am I going to draw? Well, I already know. Can I go ahead and... I think your misplays rubbed off on me, Frank. And then for my last, I will draw the next card. Which you already knew what it was. I knew what it was. How did I know? <laughs> You're a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How could you know? First... Yes, I will. I know. Akitaru Watanabe. Unorthodox Sisop. That's uh, quite an interesting title to earn. Do you know any unorthodox Sisops? I do know. Okay. Alright, get two more credits. Um, two more credits. And let's let's make a run on that there, R&D. On the R&D? Yeah. We're gonna res that first piece of ice there. We'll pay three for that. Barrier. 
Okay, I'll use my um, my two recurring to break through that barrier. Okay. What you got there? Well, that only costs five, huh? Are we okay for the cell portal? Strength of seven. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, it is. So if you can't, you obviously can't read it, but the cell portal returns the runner back to the very first of the I'm familiar with that card. So it's a code gate, correct? That is correct. So my code gate would require five credits to become seven, and one more to break the subroutine. Jeez, that's expensive, and I don't even know what we get. Hell, it could be a snare. Let's risk it. Take it on. Okay. Well. I only flipped it because I already knew what it was. I know what it was. I'm going to go ahead and spend my first two actions. No. Spend my first action drawing a card. <laughs> I wonder what it was going to be. Spend my next two. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright. Alright, Tim. So. Quick to get two crits. Then I'm gonna splendid crick, splendid crick, splendid crick. It's the uh, the diabetes friendly crick. Yeah. And <laughs> it's a crick. Splendid crick. Yeah. Okay. You know why? It's because you got the helix here. You're thinking Watson and crick. You're just. You, you know me too well. I, okay. Yep. So I'm going to spend two crick. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Let's All right. start over again. We're gonna, I'm gonna spend two credits. Got it. Modding. This here century increases its strength by one. Okay. That costs two to go up by one on the strength there, so that's a that's that's an expensive one. So I figured I'd. I'd uh, take that's a care smart. Of that's a that's a very clever play. It would have been great on Femme Fatale. For my final, yeah, no kidding. For my final, I'll uh, buy two more money dollars. Yep. And for mine, I will buy seven. Your whole turn. All right. And. Seven? Fair enough. Bringing my money dollars up to ten. Fair enough. Okay. So, um... Wait a minute. This is a hardware, and I spent two, and I only needed to spend one because of my ability. I'm gonna go ahead and say your hand was off the piece. Fair enough. Um... So my first, I will, at a cost of one instead of two, because again, I will install this here, um... We'll just... Put it there, and I'll know that that one's being modded. You just want to say it's hosted? Yeah. Oh, it's a Rabbit Link. You gotta search yes. the deck? Oh, yes, I forgot that when Rabbit yeah. Link is a. Uh... It's pretty sweet. Yeah, so. So I get to basically search the deck for another one. And you have exactly two to pay for it. Hey, look at that. Let's do it. However, I need to start taking an eye on a memory. Oh, wait, those don't take memory. No, they're hardware. That's correct. And it does take a click? No, it's just plus one link. Perfect. Two credits. Yeah, so now my link strength is five. It's a good thing I got all this trace going out. Yeah, let's see you trace Man. me. Yeah. I'm really glad I'm not NBC right now. Yeah, NBN. I, yeah I was going to say. She's NBC. <laughs> well, yeah. You know, That's... Sure, it wasn't a coincidence. Mm. Yeah. One's a news organization. The other is fictional. Oh, yeah. I'll leave the answer of which. Okay, so that to was. To you. Um, my first action. So you, you currently have three icebreakers, right? Uh, that is correct. So you're going to be able to help a lot of people meet each other at a party. Oh, yes. I know how to break ice, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> like, all I'm saying is I have enough ice right now to sink the Titanic. Hmm. You know what? I'll do this. I do have. Eight this ice out. Sacrificial construct, and we'll grab a couple credits here. It's incredible that you have that easy access to money, and yet you never seem to have any. Well, you know, I'm spending it as you fast. You gotta as spend I can. it to earn it, right? 
Yeah, I feel like I should be doing some more runs with, with all the access and money I have. Well, I mean, the archives are open. Well, <laughs> that's true. Um, I guess I'm just playing it safe, because really, one one good run wins me the game. It's true. Six Let me tell you how much points I uh, already have. I will go ahead and draw. Boy, that was sure surprising what that was. And... That'll end it. Alright, so my first two actions are going to be getting two credits per. So that puts me at six. Okay. Now I'm going to make a run on your hand. Wait, you don't have a hand. Let's not make a run on your hand. There's nothing worth running on. Really. <laughs> what, what, what do I need to run on? I mean, I can try to get your, your R&D, but man, that cell portal is brutal and it's very expensive. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, but what I can do... Uh, Four cards in your hand. Yeah. Chindiki. Well, draw a card. Oh, piss. You know what else I'm dumb about? My hand's off the piece, but you should have taken three net damage for taking those agendas. That's the Jinteki ability. Rough, I guess your hands off the piece. So I'll pay one to install that resource. It's just more link strength. Yep. So my turn's done. I will draw. Excellent. Draw again. Let me just take a quick look at something here. Man, this is this is like a mirror image of of when I was uh, a Wayland there. Yeah, a little bit, a little ice. bit similar. Now you know how I feel. I felt having all so much ice and nothing to protect with it. So that's turn three. So my first turn, I'm gonna take a pee. Or I'm gonna grab. You're gonna take a pee. I'm gonna take a pee on you. Right now, I'm going to make a run on this server. What do we got first off? Oh, fucking data mine. Okay, so. It's just a trap. It's just a trap. So but it's ice. Do you have a generic icebreaker? Or are all of your specialized? Oh, ones? you're right. Well. You have a code gate, a sentry, and yeah, a breaker. You have nothing everything. you can do. Literally everything else. So I'm yeah. just going to take the, take the hit here and. Lose this Armitage code busting, which I don't really care because it's, you already have free money. Yeah, exactly. So I'm not worried about that. Now, what what what's the next thing in in, in this here? Uh, well, string of let rats? me introduce you to the Enigma. I know Enigma. I know Enigma well, and I know that my code gate. Um, where is it? Here we go. It already has strength of two. So I just need to pay two credits, which I'll use my... Okay. To break both those. Now, what's the final... Let's go ahead and pay five. Yeah, okay. It's a little friend of ours. Uh, the cell portal. Okay, so what is it again? It's a code gate. Um, so it'll take five to get it up. And, and, and um... And one, three, six. So I'm gonna do it. What do you got there? The game. And I just acquired my fourth agenda, which puts my agenda points at eight, and the win condition is seven agenda points. So, all right. Do you do lose one of your? Do you take one net damage though? Oh, let's just go ahead. Actually, the game ends before you take the net damage. Yeah, yeah Crypsis. <sighs> Alright, well, my biggest mistake there was leaving my hand unprotected, uh, despite having three ice and letting you take three of the exact same two point. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Our, 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 our audience here is letting, letting you know exactly how that made them feel. And honestly, it would have been a different game had I been... had... had I been taking damage every time I took those agendas. Nah, you kept a hand. Yeah, but I'm not saying I would have lost, but I wouldn't have necessarily had everything. I mean, come on, I had a code breaker, 
a barrier, a sentry. <laughs> Couldn't do anything against my bomb. Like, like look at, I had two oh, yeah. curbo. I love that you didn't go for this. Because this would have pretty much all been free. Now imagine if I had done that for that. That would have been that would have been nasty. A giant pain in the ass. I know. I wish I had that chum back then. But yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Good game. So, yeah, good game as always. Um, so yeah, I, I guess you know this is one of those one of those games where yeah, I mean you made some mistakes, but also you had so much ice. That's that's kind of hard to deal with, you know. No, it is. And having seen that much ice before as a runner, I know how frightening it can be. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you played it pretty and? well. It's the first time the Mining Corp has ever been able to be used, and I got to use it twice. Yeah. It's interesting that both of us this game had fairly solid access to cash. Yeah, that is pretty much the first time that we've been able to regularly get a good amount of credits, which has also led to... It led to a much faster game. Yeah. Very, very quick game. Um, also, I... Again, I mean, uh, I gotta... Ex you know, accentuate how lucky I got getting a barrier breaker, a code breaker, and a sentry breaker all right off the bat. Plus, I mean, her console was fantastic, and I just, I had everything I needed. I had easy access to credits, I had all the hardware I could use. I mean, it's, this was one of those rare games where everything really came together for the runner, you know? Yeah, and I have to accentuate how dumb I am. Yeah. Absolutely, the most piss poor set of moves. I, I'm, uh, I'm upset you took my bait, like my bluff rather, because uh, you knew that I had nice trash in here to mess with you. But unfortunately, that was actually a card. Yeah, um, it worked out in, on uh, in my, you know, in my favor. Obviously, uh, it was a, it was really a tough call because I wanted to. I almost ran through that. I wanted to get rid of that Melange mining core just. Just because it gives you such easy access to, to credits, and I know what it's like playing the corporation. You don't really usually get that many credits, you know? Yeah. Hey, I was really, time. really hoping you were going to go for R&D and just take that gamble, because then I would have been able to... Uh, I had the cell barrier in my hand, or cell portal, so I would have been able to protect it next turn. Yeah, and that... Uh, honestly, I probably would have probably would have taken more shots at R&D, but that cell portal is really daunting, because I didn't really have a way to get... I mean, I, I, I had easy access to credits, but it still would cost me, you know, a minimum of six. Even using my two recurring credits, it would still take a minimum of six just to get through that. And I was like, well, you know what, I'll take my chance with the other ones. And then, you know, it turned out I had the same... I was facing the same thing there, but... So honestly, had you, um... Had you not put that cell portal there, I might not have gone for this one. I might have taken more shots at your R&D. That's just kind of the risk you take, you know? Yeah, I wanted to protect my R&D, especially since I knew I had two cell portals, and knowing that putting them in different areas, because having this kind of high power barrier, having them two in a row doesn't help me so much, because you'll only overcome it once and just pay out. That's true. Because and... they're only a one tick. What would be great is if I had something like the Archer that would cause you to have to pay four again to get past it. Yeah, and 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 I almost feel like maybe with Jinteki's deck you might want to make the R&D more appealing because you know how devastating Snare can be. That's um, true. That was well. The problem is is so that, that, that you were one point away. Like, <laughs> well, yeah, that. That's true, yeah. I At mean, that point, it wasn't yeah, worth it is, it is. banking on snares. Yeah, that's true. And and I guess that's another thing that made me skeptical of, or hesitant to go go after your R&D, was because I know I, I, I knew that there were snares in there, and there was that expensive cell portal. It so, would have been great if my precognition had let me set up some snares on you. Yeah. Because then I absolutely, absolutely would have just left it open. But, unfortunately, yeah, it's just how... Yeah, it is what it is. Um, play the hand you're dealt. Just don't play it like an idiot. Yeah, so don't play like Frank. Yeah, so definitely understand. protect. Uh, if there's any lesson to be learned here, it's protect your hand. If you enjoyed our video and think the game looks fun, you can pick it up at a local game store for $40 or just buy it online. It's a great game if you've got one friend who you know enjoys a good uh, competitive card game, but you don't want to make the investment in like a TCG. So thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time on Deckheads. 
Thank you for deckheads, where we'll be playing. <laughs> Thank you for deckheads. <laughs> You're so convincing when you do those those Tims. That it's like, oh, okay, he's like being sarcastic or he's just making a joke. <laughs> <laughs> when you do those Tims. It's funny, I was calling it Netroid Androidner earlier. <laughs> yeah, Netroid. Thank you for watching Deckheads, where we play a game of Android Netrunner. No, I don't like that. Um, <laughs> 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 Alright, go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay. And then you can say, you know, this is available uh, online and in stores for about $40. Uh, it's a game developed originally by uh, Dickie Garfield. Little Dickie. <laughs> Little Dickie Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, you're watching Deadheads. Thank you for watching Deadheads and our Dead first. <laughs> Fuck, uh, so next time, let's hire people who know how to speak English. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching Deckheads. <laughs> let's let Brandon dub us over, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for watching Deckheads. <laughs> A game published by Fantasy Flight Games, originally developed by Richard Garfield, the who inventor is... of... We were so good, we were so. I, I was ready for my joke. Okay. And known hater of Mondays and lover of lasagna. Fuck, what do we say after that? Oh, That's... if you enjoy...